Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I am here with Abhishek, who's going to. Did I say that correctly? Absolutely, okay, fine. you did that. Uh, I, I always get the accent. That you're fine. Okay. You're fine. Oof. Abhishek, now I now I'm now I've gotten my own head. <laughs> we're gonna let's move on. Yeah. We're gonna show today. We're going to show the awesome power of migration. Yep. This is gonna be super cool because so many people are gonna do this yep. as they start looking at moving uh, from uh, on premises into Azure yep. and try and make this migration happen quickly and safely and inexpensively. Absolutely. You, you take care of all that. Yeah. So absolutely. tell us a little bit about what you work on and, and what this looks like. Yeah, Corey. As customers think about Azure and migration to Azure, most customers forget to do discovery and assessment. So when the time comes to actually migrate, they don't know, are they ready? Have they factored in all the VMs that need right. to go to Azure? What is it going to cost them to run into right. Azure? Now, of course, we do have tooling available from our partners like Turbonomics and TOSO Logic mm -hmm. that can do that. But we also realized customers wanted us to build something. And yes. that's why exactly we built Azure Migrate. Mm -hmm. uh, very powerful tool, very easy to set up. Mm. Let's you profile your vCenter environment with data that's already available in vCenter. Sure. You can start sucking in your inventory figuring out how the VMs are running, are they over-provisioned, are they under-provisioned, get an assessment out real quick, figure out what your cost is going to be to run yeah, it in Azure, yeah, yeah. and actually plan your migration to Azure with confidence yes. with other tools like Azure Site Recovery. So that's exactly what we're trying to bring to customers. Six months since we've been GA, mm. we are already seeing a lot of customers take value. and. Wow. Uh, do you Benefit. have it? I put you on the spot here. Yeah. How, are you, how many VMs have you seen migrate now? Is it a large, just say a large number if you don't know the number off the top so of So, one of our biggest customers has already profiled over 16,000 VMs wow. with Azure Migrate. Wow. That's uh, one customer. Yeah, Nuts. one customer. All right. Financial customer. All right. Uh, so, yeah, customers cool. are benefiting they're, they're from benefiting. the tool. Great. Yeah, yeah. So, show us a little bit maybe live yeah. Here, yeah. what this looks like, how a customer will use it, yeah. and then sort of how they would end up doing sort of the next step into migration. Yeah, so using the tool super easy. You just go to the Azure Migrate uh, you know, experience within the Azure portal. Uh, you st get started by simply saying that you're ready to discover machines. Uh, the portal prompts you to download an OVA file, import it into your vCenter uh, environment. What that ends up doing is creates an appliance, a virtual machine. Uh, simply connect that virtual machine to your existing vCenter environment. So once I have that OVA imported, right. all I have is a collector appliance. I can set up the prerequisites, make sure it's connected to Azure with or without a proxy, connected to a vCenter environment, specify which migration project I want to go to, and the collection stats. So what I've done is I've already done that portion. And if I jump back to my Azure Migrate project, you'll see that I already have a whole bunch of virtual machines already discovered. So mm -hmm. I had 292 virtual machines sitting in that vCenter environment, and I already have those available within the Azure Migrate project. Now it's super simple to actually start creating assessment on these machines. I have two options. Uh, if I know exactly all the virtual machines that are part of my application, mm -hmm. I can simply jump into the process. Mm -hmm. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to simply click on Create Assessment. Uh, that will also prompt me to go ahead and create a group. Think of a migration group as something that represents your application or your project that you're going to migrate to Azure at the same time. So I'm going to simply create a new migration group. I'm going to call it my group one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to search for my VMs. Since I'm the customer who remembers all the VMs that are mm. participating in my app, so I'm going to just look for the word tier, and I find and all my all VMs. VMs. So it. I have a simple so easy, payroll right? yeah, app. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. has nine VMs, data tier, middle tier. Mm -hmm. And I sucked in those VMs, and I simply said, go ahead and create an assessment. Assessment spins up super quick, super easy, and I have an assessment already created. It's getting computed at this point of time, and basically what's happening is ah. Azure Migrate is using all of that data that it sucked in from vCenter yes. to make a few decisions. Sure. Is the VM ready to go to Azure? Mm -hmm. Is it running a particular OS that may currently not be supported mm -hmm. or endorsed by one of the vendors to run in Azure? Mm -hmm. So let's look at the readiness. So I click on my VMs, and I can see that I have nine VMs, a whole bunch of them are already ready to go to Azure. Mm. But in one particular case, I'm running a VM with an EFI boot that's ah. directly not recommended to go to Azure. Right. But the good news is Azure Site Recovery also allows you to take an EFI VM can to Azure. It can make the change on the fly. Ah, so even awesome. though we are saying a yellow bang, it's a conditional support from a migrate Just perspective. Just let you know that this is going to change. But we can migrate it to wow. Azure. And cool. Azure will also change this in the near future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also have things like if you're running an older version of an OS, for mm -hmm. example, Just CentOS 5, mm -hmm. which the vendor may not support on the Azure platform, we'll also tell you that, hey, this is not endorsed. Move it on your own That's risk, right. you can do that. Now, now that I have this assessment already in place and I've seen the Azure readiness, there are a few other things that I can look at as well. 
uh, for example, I can see what is it going to cost me to run this in Azure. Yes. So I can see every single VM, what's the best size in the Azure VM family that mm -hmm. it can go to. Mm -hmm. and this Based is, on the running of the VM in its current absolutely. environment. Absolutely, yes. that's super powerful. Customers routinely have over-provision infra. They're spending much more on-prem. Yes, of course. And they don't need to do that they when they come to, to Azure. That's we right. can make it very make easy it smaller and, and cheaper small for type. them to run that's right. Azure. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the whole thing that we're cool. trying to sell. Uh, and they can get that recommendation from us. Uh, if they choose to make some changes to their assessment, they can always click on Edit Properties and make some changes. For example, give me an assessment only based on managed disk mm -hmm. or premium storage mm -hmm. or you know, reserved instances, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. or change my offer Basically type. based on what, you, what, you, what the customer knows are going to buy and how yeah. they're going to buy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Another super powerful capability, if the customer already has Azure yes. Hybrid Benefit, they yes. can say, yes, give me a cost based on Azure Hybrid right. Benefit, right. and we'll tell you what is it going to cost you to run it in Azure. Right. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Know your VMs, create the group, yep. create the assessment, and you'll no get ready you know. to actually do it. One other option, if you're a customer one who doesn't thing. know. Yeah, one last thing. I promise I'm not going to take more of no, your time. No, please. Um, this is the fun stuff, man. Good, Come on. Good, yeah. So if you don't really know exactly all your VMs and what are they running from an app perspective, discovery. you can always do a deep discovery. And this is, again, super powerful. We can actually go in and find every single dependency for Whoa. that virtual machine and help By you seeing who's talking to whom. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. So I have one VM here. I have my uh, dependency visualization available for a view VMs. I'm going to pick one of the VMs of sure. that app, okay. the middle tier VM. So I'm going to pretend I don't know the nine VMs. Okay. You, yeah, right. Yeah, I know, but you I'm do, gonna, but you're going to. Yeah, it's, sure, yeah. it's showbiz. Yeah, let's play along. It's showbiz. Yeah, absolutely. We'll let this happen. Yeah. So I can now figure out that, yeah, I do have a VM that does depend on a few other VMs, and I can go ahead and start bringing them into my group uh, there's two and there. create mm -hmm. a group together. Uh -huh. More importantly, once I have this group created, I can even look for recursive dependencies uh -huh. that the group has Make on sure you other find things. every single one in this app. I can actually truly define the scope of my app, mm -hmm. even app. if I didn't know it. Even if, yeah. Even yeah. Yeah, you, you, you may not even know these things are calling each other, and Absolutely. now you'll figure it out. And then I just create the group based on this view, Very and then cool. I assess it, and I have all of the same features, cost, wow. optimization, changes, anything possible. It's that simple? Yeah. Super so, easy to so use. So when the next time that I hear someone say, hey, it's really hard to migrate, I'll be like, mm -mm. Ask them to Take use Azure Migrate. Azure Migrate. Yeah. Right. Hey, thanks so much. This has been awesome. Yep. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this Azure Tuesdays with Corey. It is an awesome set of capabilities. You should go play with it. If you have questions, you have comments, you have yep. feedback for us, uh, hashtag Azure TWC, and we will certainly get on it. Absolutely. You're on Twitter, too. Do you want to give your Twitter handle? Uh, author Hamerjani. I'm a published author, so that's oh, my title. Oh, oh yeah. published author? Yeah. I'm, in, I'm, uh, I'm embarrassed now. No. Now you, you are you're famous. <laughs> and I didn't know, and I pronounced your name wrong at the beginning. You can no, be you're fine. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, and have a wonderful Tuesday. Awesome.